the COVID-19 thing. I am sterilizing and throwing away those things. But here is the packaging and I will show you guys what's inside, what it looks like. First of all, the packet itself, uh, slate gray color, and then they have this gold accent at the bottom with a bullet on the front cover. Now, the name says Zaro Wanted. This perfume is by the House of Zaro and they make amazing perfumes I feel I feel that that is their specialty even though they do make other stuff shirts and you know typical designer stuff but this uh, the perfume is really their forte and as the name suggests wanted it's giving the vibe of someone who's running away from the law as a result probably has is packing some guns and this is a bullet bullet uh, rim with a primer right in the center and I feel that this bottle design is also going to be very interesting so you guys will have fun seeing this too. Uh, this is a 150 milliliter bottle. I got this from Amazon for $47 and then I have $10 on my gift card so I technically got it for $38 which is a steal deal because even at FragranceNet the 3.4 ounce is about $58 and the 5.1 ounce which this one is is around 71 dollars so this is a big savings guys do check that link out i don't know if it's still available but that's how i got it from and let's see so i described the gray package and the gold accent at the bottom with the bullet in the front it's got a little bit of mesh design this a uh, lower third of the box at the top you can see it looks like a revolver chamber with six bullets and at the center it says a for Azaro, and then you see the wanted logo on the top right. How this 150 ml Eau de Toilet. This is not Eau de Parfum. As you can see, side box is pretty plain. Same accents carry over. On the back side, we have all the contents in this. It's made in France, and yep. On this side, it's also blank. Bottom it shows a serial number and. Just the regular regulatory stuff, reference number, serial number, batch, ID, flammable, recyclable. So okay. let's go ahead, open this up. Okay guys, I removed the outer plastic because with the gloves it's very hard to do that and it's not very interesting anyway, but let's go ahead and open this box up now. As we open this chamber of six fluids, let's see what's inside. Typical black packaging, it has that revolver chamber embossed on the back as well as you can see yeah. whoa this is very interesting indeed looks like your revolver six shooter I don't know what caliber it would be a 357 or something probably but yeah good luck trying to take this in your hand carry through customs or through the airport <laughs> They are definitely not going to know what this is, and you definitely will be stopped. So not something I would carry through. Ooh, wow, this is a very beautiful work of art indeed. You can see it totally is cylindrical in line with the revolver theme. And my, they did put a lot of work into the design. I am totally loving it. It's even got the grooves. So if you see it from the side, it looks like just exactly how a revolver would rotate, you know, with the beveling and all. Look at that. Zaro at the center, and there's six at the side. Amber colored liquid. Zaro is embossed at the bottom. Then you have all of the particulars made in France, 5.1 ounce, or the toilet at the bottom. So very smooth chrome silver finish on the bottle cap. And yeah, so no nonsense wanted perfume. Let's open it up. All right guys, so I was fumbling with this thing a little bit. I thought it opened somewhere here, but, and I was trying to actually rip the bottle apart, I think by doing that, act like this, there you go. All caps off. Looks like a piece of a bullet actually. Wow. Interesting. And then here is the spray. Let's give it a shot, see what it feels like. All right.
right, so let's see how this bad boy perfume actually smells like. Now I put a few sprays on my wrist and this is what I'm getting. It's a, overall an aromatic, warm, spicy, fresh type of scent and it has a little bit of wood and citrus, but that's kind of in the background I feel. Top notes are composed of lemon, ginger, lavender, mint. The middle notes are Guatemala and cardamom, juniper, apple and geranium. Base is similar to Haitian vetiver, tonka bean, and amber ginger, lavender, and the mint. The top notes, I can definitely tell those were there. The middle is a little hard. You have to like kind of wait. Uh, I, I can smell some apple in there, but the rest of these I am not so familiar with. The base notes, amber wood. Yes, I have had uh, perfumes with amber wood in it, but the vetiver is also very common, but Haitian vetiver. This is the first time, Tonka bean also first time. So, uh, I mean, overall it makes for a very, very nice, spicy, warm perfume. And I think this is perfect for fall as it comes on us. Uh, this is, I don't think this is a summery perfume. And I think a lot of people who reviewed it also agree with that. Uh, summer is not the season for it. Uh, although a friend of mine who has it, he feels it's a summery perfume. I disagree with this. It can be used in spring, at the start of spring, but really it's it's designed for autumn and fall. Winter can also work for it fine. Uh, daytime wear, evening wear, both I feel are equally okay if you use it in either of those occasions. It's definitely a party wear type perfume. Office, I think it would be a little bit strong, a little bit offsetting if you are in an environment where people are a little bit more conservative about colognes this is kind of strong it's in your face and it just reflect i mean look at the name wanted it's just something you know it's very bad boy very attention grabbing and i'll show you guys a clip of the advertisement uh, they made they made a big marketing campaign around this perfume and it's a very James Bond-esque uh, advertisement but the same sort of vibe with the guy uh, actually he's flipping a coin and the revolver like you know spinning around at the chamber beautiful girl guy wearing a tuxedo jumping off a building you know so it's it's got all that 007 theme in it it might, might actually be a 007 type of perfume may i say although i think he would prefer to be more subtle but until then watch this advertisement guide and guys and don't forget to like share and subscribe see you guys again with another product review perfume or watch uh stay tuned and stay safe guys